Hi guys, it's my name is Nika and what's up? Anyways, I'm going to talk about Finding Dory and Suicide Squad. Anyways, I went to work, got off super early, and I was like, what else I want to do? So I went to, first, originally I really wanted to see Finding Dory because I just want to see how it was because a lot of people said they enjoyed it. But um, I'm not trying to like put it down or whatever, but I thought Finding Dory was the same kind of like story kind of um sequence as the original movie Finding Nemo because it kind of like was just kind of you know like the same thing about finding somebody and then finding that person and then going through its trials and its sequence in the movie and I was just like very I just I don't know I just got very kind of like eh, I don't want to watch this anymore you know and I kind of glad I only spent like eight dollars you know because I, I would be like very upset if um uh, I was just in there and paid like a lot of money to see a better like a movie that was gonna be was really hyped and it was gonna be better than the original, you know. And it was in some moments, but it did feel flat to me. I didn't really feel engaged. So I'm not because I'm like an adult, you know, and I don't really enjoy kids movies that much or I need something with adult content in it to make the movie better. But um it was just um it was okay. Like, for children, I know that I was surrounded by children in the audience, and they enjoyed it a lot. I had no complaints from them, you know, but uh, I think that for my age, I need to stop watching kids' movies because I, I feel like I don't enjoy them anymore, to be honest. <laughs> but um, the animation was great. The voice acting was great, you know. Um, I just wish it had a better storyline. It had some more content in it to so where, like, I'm not, like, just, you know, being like, where, what, what, like, why am I watching this? You know, it's the same thing as the original movie. Like, I could have uh, got it from my uh, my dad's DVD collection, watch Finding Nemo all over again, and just like copy paste it and then like add it like Dory at the end and the beginning. And then I, I had like the kind of like the same movie in my opinion. But it did have this feel good and it. it did have like this most where you want to like feel bad or want to cry, you know. But, you know, I just feel like they were trying to really up one on the original and they haven't really succeeded according to me. But probably other people had a different experience to it. But um, anyway, I was like, I'm so bored, you know, I want to make up for that experience. So I saw Suicide Squad. Now, I never really attended to see the movie because I heard stories about it and people didn't really enjoy it. And also with the issue of the Joker, you know, uh, people were really mad they, that Joker didn't have enough screen time. I also heard that some things were cut off from the movie from the Joker. And I think it was posted on Reddit or somewhere on the internet. And I guess you guys can go and watch it. I'm not going to post a link to it because it's going to ruin my experience, you know. But, um... So the person who doesn't follow the DC Marvel Universe or recent comics or anything like that, I enjoyed it. I haven't seen the the, um, the movie uh, ads for Suicide Squad, so my impression coming into it was just like very kind of like, you know, like I don't know what I'm going to watch, I don't know what I've experienced, but hopefully I have a good time. And my eyes were like pretty much glued to the screen the whole entire time, you know. I had a really good experience, and it didn't feel long, you know, and it was very fast-paced. I just, they did kind of slow it down, so now I can, like, get to know the characters more, you know, but, um, I can understand why people's, like, opinion of Joker was, like, they got really mad about it, and they wanted more the Joker, but this was, like, Suicide Squad, and it's not, like, Joker in Suicide Squad, like, of course he was in the cast, but... I think that if people, like, um, did more research into the movie, you know, whatever, um, I, just, I think they would have had a better experience, in my opinion. But they did, like, say the Joker was going to be, like, the best in the film for uh, people who are promoting it. And there's, like, a lot of Joker everywhere, every day, or, you know, that's what people were really hyped up for, which I understand. But, you know, the Joker is not, like, my favorite villain sorry <laughs> but he's like my, I think he's very overhyped to be honest and I, I just like I like all like I like all uh, Harley Quinn and I like the Penguin that's like my favorite uh villains of the DC um superhero cast and um the reason why I like the Penguin is because from uh 
goblins. Um, I think that's what really got me to Penguin and also for the uh, animated cartoon Batman. I'm not sure which one it was, but I was like, you know, Penguin's a cool guy. And uh, Gotham totally brought in life, in my opinion. I was like, yes. And uh, I always like Harley Quinn, and because Harley Quinn's a badass. Also, has Poison Ivy and Catwoman, and you know, and all the females in DC <laughs> universe. I really like. But um, I really did enjoy the film, and um, I they did. I also was like given that where people say, oh yeah, he's gonna die. What one people in the cast were gonna die, and um, you know. Uh, I'm not gonna give any spoilers or anything, but you know, one of the characters in the movie did die, and uh, I'm not gonna say who, you know, but um, it's for you guys to watch and what and see what happens. But um, my favorite um, characters from the film were the Enchantress, and I was played by a uh, newbie. I think her name is Kara Delavine or Delavine or. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. She was she played uh, Enchantress. I thought that she did a very good job for her first time in the movie theater, in the movie uh, experience, you know. And uh, I think she was a very good actress. And I know there's some times where I was just kind of like, I wish it was like more relatable for her. But since I'm, you know, since it's the first time, I'm not going to harp on it too much. Um, Viola Davis was very good. You know, she did a very good job as playing as a Meta Walker. Oh, Mia Waller, sorry. Uh, she, she's just a badass, you know, and she took no prisoners. I thought she was like very strong, independent, very uh, uh, representative of the African American, you know, population. I know she's very happy to see someone very strong. And who was African American who played a role that wasn't really, um, you know, like a rapper or a gangbanger. Like she, she's a boss, you know. And I just like that about that about her. And she was a very positive role model in my opinion. And I do like her and other um things that she plays at. And also, she, I know she has a TV series, How to Get Away, How to Get Away with Murder. And she was just very strong in that too as well, which I liked. So I was very happy that um. You know, uh, that she was in there and we one for the team. Um, Joel Ken Kenneman, I didn't really like. I thought that he was a weak actor to me because, um, I don't know, I just didn't really like how he really portrayed his character. And um, I just keep seeing him get dragged off by the bad guys and getting beat up and not really being a strong strong lead male for that team and I was just kind of like disappointed to be honest so you know it's just like okay but I think the person who really like did a role spot on and should be giving another um movie of their own is Harley Quinn who was played by Margaret Grubby she did a very very good job you know it was very sketchy you know and I was just very kind of like and, you know, I, I, I wasn't really sure how it was going to be portrayed as, but um, she did a very, very good job, you know, and I was very surprised, you know, and I hope that Hardy Quinn gets her own, you hear that, but I hope that Hardy Quinn gets her own uh, movie or or even TV series, because that would be lovely, but I hope for this her own movie to where it kind of focuses on her and not so much as the Joker. I just don't want, I don't want to see the Joker in that. I just really just want to like see Harley Quinn, but of course, if you're focused on Harley Quinn, you gotta bring Joker in too, which I understand, but I just want a very powerful female lead in this a movie, you know. Uh, Will Smith as Deadshot really did a good job as well, as he does always, you know. Um, I just felt bad for him, you know, but he just was really just a very good character all around. And um, Jay Jay Little, um. I um um he he when he played Joker, I was very kind of like very fixated on him, and I did get goosebumps, and I was just kind of like, this is still is creepy, but in a good way, you know. And um, the whole thing between uh the Joker and Harley Quinn kind of like back and forth, back and forth, which I liked as well. 
but you know, I'm not gonna really say anything. But I just wish toward the end things were different, you know, and she came out stronger. I think I just wish Harley Quinn came out a little bit stronger, but hey, that's what it was. But um, I just really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the cast. I the cast did a very excellent performance, in my opinion, and I wish to see maybe a part two of the movie if possible. Or maybe even like a spinoff into its own TV series because I feel like that should be awesome to where they go on their little adventures and be the people and stuff. But that's just my opinion. But if you guys have a different opinion on it, leave me in the comments down below. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.